FC Cincinnati Stadium appears to be one step away from going in the West End, but that's not stopping people who live there from taking a stand. Local 12's Brad Underwood is in the West End tonight where the word soccer stadium have become fighting words, Brad. <laughs> Certainly has. Uh, good evening, Rob. You know, no one associated with bringing a stadium to the West End was really safe during that protest. Residents called out CPS. They called out politicians who they say stabbed them in the back. And Jeff Birding, he certainly took his lumps, too. Still some very big decisions before a stadium actually uh, comes to the West End. But these residents made it clear tonight they're not backing down. We need to let them know that we do not want a stadium. In the on the corner of a street named after one of the world's greatest fighters, the people of the West End aren't ready to throw in the towel. Go home, FC Cincinnati, and take Jeff Burnley with you. The gathering comes a day after CPS okayed a land swap deal with FC Cincinnati. The deal allows the club to build a professional soccer stadium at the current site of Stargill Stadium and put a new Stargill Stadium caddy corner to the school. We don't want no FC. T -A -F -T. We voted no. The vote should count. The vote should stand. And that's with the school board, that is with city council, and that is with, guess what, our neighbors. Katina Davis is a member of the Liberty Street Resident Council, which voted no on an FCC stadium in the West End. So did the West End Community Council, and so did the OTR Neighborhood Council. The people keep saying they don't want the stadium, but all signs point to it coming. And are you surprised that John Cranley and Jeff Birding, and oh, I hate to say it, P.G. Sittenfeld are not listening to you today. Mona Jenkins says the black community has seen this before, and she's tired of people being pushed out of neighborhoods that they love. It's time that we stand up together. This is happening in Avondale. It's happening in Walnut Hills. And the common factor is that it's black people. It's brown people. It's poor folks. And while everyone waits for city council and major league soccer, the people say they're not going anywhere. I love you, the West End, and I'm going to die fighting to keep the stadium out of the West End. Well, Cincinnati City Council expected to vote on that proposed development deal next week. At the moment, it appears they do have four votes on council ready to push that forward. Of course, they need one more, five, to make that happen. Reporting live in the West End, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob. Brad, thanks very much. Major League Soccer hasn't set a date to announce the next franchise. The owners, though, are expected to meet this upcoming Tuesday.